Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discussing about uh, some more problems related to averages. Uh, these problems are very important. Listen carefully. Here, the average weight of five students in a class is given as 25.8. Average weight of five students. Whenever average is given, obviously you will get a sum of five students. That is equal to average into number of students. Here this value is, uh, if you multiply with 10, you will get 258. Uh, here this 5 is nothing but half of 10. So you will get uh, half of 258, which is equal to 1, 2, 9, 129. 25.8 into 5, which is equal to 129. When a new student joined them, the average weight is increased by 3.9 kgs. It means that uh, at present, sum of 5 students, 129. I don't know the average weight of 6th student. Let us take average weight of uh, the weight of 6th student x. Now the number of students, 6. Here, after adding that student, average is increased by 3.9 kgs. Initial average, 25.8. Now it is increased by 3.9. Here, the sum of these two, 25.8 plus 3.9, which is equal to, here it is 28 plus 0 0.8, 0 0.9, that is 1.7. 29.7 29.7 now you can do the cross multiplication 129 plus x is equal to 6 into this 6 goes to right side 6 7 0 42 and next 6 9 0 54 plus 4 58 and next 6 2 0 12 12 plus 5 17 178.2 from this x is equal to 178.2 minus 129 that is equal to 49.2 x is equal to 49.2 kgs if you want the approximate answer that is approximately equal to 49 49 is the right answer for this question. Option B. Let's move on to the next question. This is very, very important problem. Listen carefully. Three science classes A, B, C take a life science test. The average score of the students of class A. Class A average 83 and that of class B average 76. Class C average 85. That is individual average. And after that, the average score of A and B, 79. Average score of B and C, 81. Now, the question is, what is the average score of all the classes? A, B, C. That is the question we need to find. Here, first of all, we can use this uh, according for this question we can use allegation principle in order to get the answer in a simplest way here a average is given b average is given individually and also a and b together average is given a average is 83 b average is 76 and a and b average together 79 now you can apply the allegation principle for this one Difference between these two, 3. And the difference between these two, 4. A is to B is equal to 3 is to 4. In the similar fashion, you can do it for B and C also. Why? Because A and B, B and C, both are together values are given. Here, B individual value, that is 76. C individual value, 85. B and C together value 81. Here, according to allegation principle again, the difference between these two, that is 4. And the difference between these two, you need to write over here. Here, the difference is 5. 4 is to 5. B is to C is equal to 4 is to 5. 
a is to b is equal to 3 is to 4 and b is to c is equal to 4 is to 5. If you observe carefully, the value of b is common in both the ratios. Therefore, a is to b is to c, which is equal to obviously 3 is to 4 is to 5. That is ABC strength ratio. Now the question is, what is the average score of all the three classes together? Average of A, B and C, which is equal to sum of A, B, C. Here the strength in A, three parts, into average 83 plus 4 into B is a strength. In B, the strength is 4 and the average is given as 76. Plus, in C, 5 parts into average is 85. Divided by 3 plus 4 plus 5. Calculate this value. Here it is uh, 249. Plus, here it is 280 plus 24. 304. Plus, here it is uh, 400 plus 25, 425 divided by, here it is uh, 12. Now you can take sum of all this, 9 plus 9, 18. Next, 3 plus 4, 7. Next, 4 plus 3, 7, 7 plus 2, 9, 978 divided by 12. That is the required answer. Now you can take it as uh, 12. 8 sir, 96 sir. 18, 12 1 sir, 12 1 sir, 12, still you left over with uh, 6, uh, point 60, 60 means 12 5 sir, 60, 81.5, option D is the right answer for this question. In this way you can, uh, you have to solve these kind of problems, first you need to calculate A is to B, after that B is to C, once you are getting A is to B and B is to C, it is very easy to calculate A, B, C ratio. Once you are getting A, B, C strength ratio, it is very easy to calculate average of A, B, C. Why? Because average is nothing but sum divided by number of persons. So, average is equal to, this is strength in A, 3 and the average is given as 83. You will get sum of A. After that, sum of B is equal to 4 into 76. Sum of C is equal to 5 into 85. That, you, uh, that will give us the sum of all A, B and C. And divided by total strength in all three sections, uh, 3 plus 4 plus 5. That is uh, 12. After calculation, you will get uh, the average is 81.5. Option D is the right answer for this question. Guys, I hope you understand the question. Thank you, thank you very much for watching.